the last time they asked me for a resume, I said, resume. So the interview was set up. I said, okay, uh, can I walk your houses first? You know? So I'm walking and I grab a piece of two by 10. And I started writing all the deficiencies. <laughs> all, 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 it, it was full, both sides. Then on, on the, the face, it, all, all four corners. <laughs> I come back, I throw it in my truck. He goes, so what did you think? Well, I said, you know, I found a, a few things, right? He goes, okay, can you share them with me? He goes, well, I just, I just throw it on a piece of, of wood. He goes, a wood? I said, he goes, I, he goes, go get it. I went to go grab it. And I, I brought, it was about this long. And I, <laughs> when I walked in, he looked at me and he was shocked. So I, 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 he grabs this, he starts reading it and you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first resume. Uh, <laughs> oh man! True story. <laughs> that wasn't with Lou, was it? No. Is no. that a two by twelve or two by ten? I think it was two by twelve. <laughs> two by twelve. It was a big one, a two footer. <laughs> it, it was like uh, it was like the uh, the scriptures for the Bible. <laughs> Instead of it being on a rock, it's on a two by twelve. Oh. <laughs> Good thing it wasn't an LVL, then you wouldn't be able to write on that oh, thing. Fuck. Oh fuck! You know what? He, he still kept wrote it. On it. He still kept it. He still kept it. Yeah, it's in his closet. When you walk in, he hangs his jacket. He goes. You should I frame it for him. Who's that? He still has it. Silvio. His name is Silvio. Oh. I wanna be burned. Your sludge hammer. And then you're supposed to see the high part. I wanna be. <laughs> Sludge hammer. Sludge oh, hammer. Yeah, we finally got it out. That's all we needed. That was oh, all we needed. This is, this is, you better get some tissues ready. I think this is going to be a really funny uh, podcast. Uh, <laughs> so that was Camilo. Hi. And we or have Marta, Camelot. who's still laughing. And uh, w- w- Carlito, you're to the right of me. Oh, man. I'm going to be everywhere today. We're, we're on location. Where are we? We're in Uptown? Up, are, is this still? Uh, no, Midtown. Down. I would say downtown. Yeah. We're still yeah. downtown? downtown. Definitely downtown. Corner. We're in Toronto. Downtown, <laughs> downtown GTA. Yep. We're down in Toronto. Uh, yeah. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, guys? I think it's important to let the uh, guests know that these are two secret builders. And we're not going to give out the name, so we'll call them Undercover. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, we don't want to give up the builder's name, but we're going to talk about builders. Okay. Uh, are we? Uh, is it fair to say track? No, we're not track building here. No. no. What are we doing here? We're developing. We're row developing. housing. You're yeah. a developer. Yeah. yeah. Right. But it is a row. Is a row house. No. How do you want to? What is it? Townhouse. 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 That's what it is. Yeah. Right. Three story. Four story townhomes. Four. Four. Story four five. story homes. Yeah. Are we including the basement? Hey. Five? Are hey. you getting to because I'm short again? <laughs> is this where, where is this going? Uh, you want to start this shit again, right? <laughs> you want to start this shit again? Short. I'm short. <laughs> Four or five. Yeah. Hey, just check out your grow list over there, okay? <laughs> oh, Mellows, my God. Mesh- <laughs> oh, look at that. Huh? Yeah. Oh, how tall are you, Camilla? <laughs> it's his growth chart. <laughs> Listen, all, all that matters, are you taller than Tom Cruise? No. Are you Tom not? Cruise? Tom Cruise is 5'7", man. No, I'm 6'. Six. 5'6". Five, six. Oh, you're for sh- sure, no? Okay, I you're taller know. than Dustin Hoffman. Then that's totally fine. <laughs> 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 All right, let's, let Carlito. How are we going to start this? How do you want to start this, man? Especially well, after a long weekend. I I think after a long weekend, wait, let's just start with the construction bone. Who's got a bone today? Okay, so our construction bone is uh, something that bothers you that happens every day or every few days that bothers the part hell of out the industry, city man. inspectors. Oh no, building oh. code. You think so? Yeah. That's your bone? That's my bone. What do you want to... Okay, what specific bone? There's no real, like, set anything in uh, building code, even though you work in the same city. You mean new standards? Yeah. They come and they tell you whatever they feel like telling you. It doesn't even... I know. Like, Mr... Yeah, okay, him. I, I know. Like, you've done, like, three, four inspections, and then all of a sudden... Oh, by the way... But you never noticed that before, yeah. and it, they're not even legit things. They're they're personal. 
I think I think uh, just to prove. Oh, I think they're point. motivated by personality. Yeah. So okay. if you rub them the wrong way, then they're like, "Hey, I just discovered something." No, that's I've, why I've, we hired Martha. <laughs> and, you, and you get to deal with it. Huh? Well, well, it's, it's better either. when a woman does. <laughs> why is it better? Because if it's a male inspector. Yeah. Well, sometimes, yeah. Do you? Is there yeah, an advantage? It's there? easier when well, you're dealing with Well, this is good. This woman, is good right? to hear. This I'm is curious. Good to hear. So is it uh, okay? I guess it's the same thing as being pulled over. If you're a man being pulled over by a female. Is there an advantage there? Because we know I think I got there's advantage. an advantage if it's a female. <laughs> I definitely will have an advantage. <laughs> is it the I'll same thing? There. Is it the same thing? So if you're dealing with a male inspector and, and, and Marta has to deal with him, that hey, he's going to be... Do, do the pony thing. Ponytail thing. I can't do it. I have no, the just take it off. Yeah, that's what he wants me to do. Take my, my do a little, little, the yeah, little yeah, tail. Yeah. Just a wave. <laughs> <laughs> And what? That gets away with the inspection? No. Approved? That's it distracts them. <laughs> them. Yeah. No, I've, I've had a lot of problems with uh, the inspectors also. They, they seem to take the minimum code or the just what it should be no, but out, out, no of, set out of a content group. and make it a little bit personal. And I understand sometimes they're putting their name on it and they, they want to make sure it's safe. But it should only be to a certain extent. It shouldn't be exaggerating yeah. the law. They're mad at developers because... We're we're getting ahead of them. They're behind on issuing permits, especially. Oh, how about them issuing? And we're dealing with consultants, right? Yeah. And I give you an example. You you have like a project on go, and uh, two years later, you finally get your drawings, and they're stamped, and they're not even red marking on anything, nothing. But they issue so, your conditional permit. Yeah, but so it takes you that go, long. Yeah. To what? Stamp your drawing. <laughs> No, but they, no how about lines. they give you your conditional permit, build, but then they get out onto site and they go, holy shit, how much did you build? And you're like, well, you guys gave us the conditional permit. And then you call them for them to come out to do inspections. Then they don't want to come out to do mm, inspections funny. because you have your conditional permit. You don't have your permit. It's a it's whole Why don't they want to come out to do based on the conditional? Uh, mo- mostly because... If you don't have your drawings stamped, stamped. Drawings. stamped. they don't want to so, look at it. Right. Correct. And, and it goes back to them because, well, you guys have our drawings waiting for you guys to stamp so that we can. I learned early on that uh, an inspector ta- taught me saying um, they're never approved drawings, they're reviewed yeah, drawings. Because right, yeah. then they could find something on the drawing mm-hmm. that was technically approved, right. but the city planning person, whoever's involved in that department, may have missed something yeah. on the drawing. That's and why now, you have inspectors. That's why you have inspectors. But then they, like you guys said, they might harp on something that's completely, like it's not an issue. No, but, but you're, you're making it an issue. But when you give when you give the go ahead to move forward and you don't give a stipulation on when it should be stopped or at what point it should be stopped, you shouldn't give a con- like a conditional to allow someone to start breaking ground or developing and then stop them halfway through. But as developers, you guys boogie as soon as you get the green light, don't you? Oh, because yeah. every day is costing you... Oh, large. Large. Just in the insurance. This alone. isn't one trade. Or, like it's, it's huge. Yeah. Oh, There's are, a lot of money invested here. So you're saying insurance daily is huge. Oh, that's if you built your own private home, you're paying a lot of money just for yeah building insurance. So right? I was paying 450 bucks a month for builders insurance. Mm-hmm. That's a month a just month. for my house. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's one. That's one. And you're doing a development, so well, that you're hundred doing- million dollar project, and you can figure that one right. Ooh. And then you think about just the interest alone from the banks and stuff, right? Wow. Because. You're 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 depending on the banks too for for money for that part, and you're paying interest. So there's a, a huge yeah. So when you get the conditional permit, mm-hmm. you got a boogie. Yeah, you got to start. Yeah, working. but the the problem is is that they want you to come in and call for inspections that you're supposed to along the way, but because you only have a conditional permit, like you said, you don't have the stamp drawing, then they don't want to come out. So it's a catch twenty two. Yeah, different uh, different uh, cities are different. Yeah, but I was and yeah. we were talking off mic with uh, Martin and I. We were saying, why don't we just uh, like adopt the national code and just everybody get on the same page here, man? Mm-hmm. Why don't we just do that? Why do we have to have different? Well, simple. we know that. Oh, I know, the, I know. Well, that I mean, humidity, humidity's different. Grounds different. Well, I was gonna say it's all a cash grab. That's well, what I was gonna. I say. mean, it is a cash <laughs> grab, but but it does change how you build your home or how you seal it or. 
you know, what system you're going to use to develop it, right? It all changes in areas yeah. from wind to water to ground. We, we should let you guys know that we do have a building inspector, Mr. Smith, that's been on the show that listens to the show. Well, good for him. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you should teach other inspectors on how to inspect. He's actually really good. Yeah. He's, at, he's actually really yeah. good. It's what a small world, right? Okay, that was an interesting bone. <laughs> <laughs> a bone. All right, what do we got next there, Carlito? Uh, history with Manny. This is a whole show. This is a whole legitimate <laughs> thing. Eh? Like, this, like, there's monkeys, there's dancing, there's all kinds of shit, right? So I want to take something a little different here for history. Oh, shit. I want to ask you guys, let's, see, has, let's have some fun because I got two pages here. Can you guys tell me, or I could tell you guys, which celebrities have been in construction or possibly still in construction? Oh, Trump. yeah. I'm in on this one. So I'll just give you a hand, right? I just said Trump. Trump, I don't, he's not on my list. Well, he's a, a celebrity who does construction. No, no, I'm talking it. about trades. Vanilla Ice. He's not on my list. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm starting ice. off with Schwarzenegger. <clears throat> oh, really? Schwarzenegger had a bricklaying company before he actually became a bodybuilder. You're kidding wow. me. 1968, it was known as a specialty European bricklayers. Him and a few other muscle-bound guys had a bricklaying company. Get out of Ozzy here. Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy what? Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne had a number of factory apprentice, toolmaker, training, plumber, construction site, You're labor jobs. kidding me, man. Whoopi Goldberg. What? Whoopi what? Goldberg is a recognized bricklayer. What? <laughs> Whoopi, I'm telling you the truth. She's so hey, good. We, we, she's so good that she actually built part of the San Diego Zoo. You're joking. I'm not joking. Here. This is a, now uh, Joe Montagna or whatever the guy from Magic Mike, who's Sophia's husband or whatever, the tall dude, right? The good-looking guy, whatever. Magic so, Mike, the stripper, you mean? Yeah, the stripper, right? <laughs> so he was a laborer shoveling sand. No, no Gallagher. No Gallagher, oh, no Gallagher from Oasis. He the band. He was a civil engineer. Get out of here. That's fantastic to so hear. So Harrison Ford, I think a lot of people know that carpenter. he was a carpenter before yeah. Star Wars, and he actually gave up carpentry. Well, he was a actor. carpenter on set. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Rodney no King. What? Rodney King was a construction worker who found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we all know what happened there, right? Get this. Winston Churchill. He was a bricklayer. No What's wonder he did so well in war. In the sand. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of okay, out there. Wait a second. Movie star. Michael Caine. He was a plumber's apprentice. Kelsey Grammer. So he was, uh, sorry, he was a uh, painter. Of course he was that hair. Elvis <laughs> and Presley. I... What? What did he do? Electrical apprentice. Wow. Wow. He was a helper. St uh, George Clooney. He had a bunch of jobs. He did woman's shoes, worked in construction, stock shelves, door to door sales. I wonder why he did woman's shoes. I know, eh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cross dressing? And so J <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Renner. Jeremy Renner is from a Mission Impossible and the Avenger movies, and he flips homes, and he still flips homes to this day. You're joking. And the last one, Carlito's going to love this one. He's going to love this one. Sean Connery. Sean Connery was a laborer laying bricks. Get Another one. Out of here. Another and, and also polishing coffins. I don't know who that is. Sean wow. Connery? No. no. Dragon Slayer. <laughs> 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 Sorry, who Jeremy Renner is? Yeah. So he's a Hawkeye in Adventures, or he was in Mission Impossible oh. films, right? So he flips homes. He's a car, he's a car builder. Okay, so what you're saying is if I want to be a professional actor, I should be a bricklayer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that. Huh? I'm doing those stones. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Manny, that there. was amazing today. And that was history with Manny. I thought that was interesting, man. That, yeah, a lot that of was these, amazing. That, that, and a lot of bricklaying, too. Yeah. yeah. thought that was really interesting. It, so, Well, it, it's a good point. It just shows you how many of us, you just don't know who you're dealing with, have been in construction. Everyone has a start. What yeah. an amazing stepping stone, right? That's great. Yeah. Now on with the show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about some of the problems you're talking about every day about city inspectors. What, what, what do they need to change? So Marta's a site super. Site super, yes. Stop coming at lunchtime. What? <laughs> oh, oh, that's what I told the inspector because he comes at lunch. <laughs> exactly at lunchtime. <laughs> she takes a bite and it's like... That's when he arrives. <laughs> every time? Every time. For framing. <laughs> my age back inspector at least he comes in the morning so does the plumber and yes. camila you're a director what of 
construction. Construction manager, I guess, right? Construction yeah. manager. Yeah. Cool. All right. And then you guys are undertaking a pretty big project. Yes, we are. During this whole fiasco that's going on in the world right now? Yeah. COVID? And we're managing. It's not bad. Well, Still so going. far. Yeah. What have been some of the problems that uh, COVID's brought? The best was the, Canelo the calling for uh, fra- framing for the lumber to be on site. And the guy says, no. Camilla goes, what do you mean, no? <laughs> 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 that was the best. No, the it's lumber. It's an excuse. Everybody's using well, the excuse. Well, well the lumber was good. Before I came here, I was on another site and I, oh. ha- I had no doors. Oh, that's coming up. Yeah. Trim's going to be... So what exactly is the reason? I mean, I, we all Come know back. that that the the shut lumber down. is like is that what it is? Yeah, really. Well, all the mills shut down, and yeah. then most of everything comes from Quebec. Shut all down year. for how long? Oh, I'd say six months. In, no, well, they didn't I don't know. shut Ke- down. Quebec that got long. worse than we did. Hit well, worse than we did, but all the lumber comes from there. All the trim. Work I, comes I mean, from I, there. I'm playing naive here in these mills. Aren't they wearing respirators to begin with because all the mm. sawdust going on I know. in there? I think it's all, yeah, it's all, a great point. all of an excuse. So excuse. everybody's like well within the safety distances. So yeah. why all of a sudden you shut down? I don't get it. Ask Quebec. The administration staff? Is that what's going yeah, see, on? You get the, the wrong information. Like you, these guys will tell you something and everybody believes it now. That's a whole other podcast, but we want to get into this uh, this but, building. But you guys have been building. Are you behind on schedule, or yeah. are you on? You are. Little, Is little that bit. because of material? Uh, material, no. More like manpower. People didn't show up for work. Yeah, they, they didn't, didn't want to come in. Yeah. Nope. They had that option. They, they had the option, no. and they said no. So they went the Serb route. Correct. Mm-hmm. It's cheaper that way. <sighs> Terrible. <sighs> Serb is stupid, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's stupid. It's going to bite all of us at this table's ass when we get older. So how are oh, you? We're going to be paying for it sooner than That's later. That's what I mean. We're yeah. going to, well, I know. Sooner. So how are the trades keeping up? They're not actually. <laughs> They're not keeping up. It's been a chase like this for more than a few years, even before this cove. I call it. Okay. So you know, there's a doing? lack of trades. So well, that would be the worst, the main reason too, right? Is it a lack of trades because they're not making their wage? Is it a lack of trades because this generation is lazy? Is it a lack of trades because of what? There's no interest uh, in being in this industry? The, the new guys going coming in, the, they're, the new construction crews that are coming in, they're too young, not enough experience, or not wanting to the do work. the extra work. But what's extra work? Like you're coming to work to work. So what is it? If extra? someone told me to Put go get some work. Effort, just the extra effort. Wow. Right. Like you have electric, actually care electrician who will just do uh, mounting the panel. One will do just the actual plugs and switches. Really? The other guy will pull the wire. The other guy will connect everything. And you can't take the guy who pulls wire and make him mount the panel, or the other guy they uh, can't it, switch him. You could, but that's if they aren't they take, a team from the same company? Take, take the extra steps in doing that. They're not the some, same company. Some, some guys no. There, there'll be a crew of electricians. And the, the apprenticeships don't learn what they're supposed to learn, or maybe they're, just, they're maybe they're afraid to give all that knowledge else so they don't lose guys. Mm. You think people just don't want to learn? They want to get paid big bucks, but they don't want to. Well, don't. that's always been the problem, right? Yeah, but it's uh, getting worse now that the older generation is. Oh, of course I had to do that. Sorry. Who's that? That's me. That's your phone. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not our phone, our guests can have their phones go off all if the you, time. If you tell somebody to the basics, to clean a house, like these guys see it every day. They clean it at every stage. It doesn't change. But they, they don't know how to put it together. Like, which house is being delivered? The house you just finished cleaning. Right? We're cleaning for insulation. Or go clean after insulation. Which house? The house you just finished cleaning for insulation yesterday got insulated. Now you go in and you clean for for drywall delivery. So whatever garbage bags what is are it? left like the, behind, like, simple things. They just show up on the job site. They just don't want to think. Yeah, the thinking is all up to us. The, but that's our, some la- our laborers too. I'm not talking about well, the laborers that we have now. But yeah, but that's in general to, with every everything. Yeah, whether it's you have carpentry to or them. plumbing. Everything. Is there any trade out there that's excelling right now? No. They're all the same. 
Is really? the qu- is the yeah. quality there? Uh, some guys, yeah. Well, you guys make sure. Yeah, yeah. we're I, talking, Camillo. I know you really well. Mm-hmm. You you don't you don't allow anyone to walk all over you. No, no, no. And uh, I mean, if there's a problem, you're not shy. You'll you'll tell them right away. So, are you forcing them to do their job? Yes. When they should just be doing their job. Yeah. We have to beat the electrician, the plumber. How do you have that conversation? Because I just had that conversation this morning via text. I'll just share this. Hang on a sec. I'll share I share his response. All I asked, my simple question was, when are you going to complete your scope? Can you give me a day when that's going to be complete? That was my question. And his final response to me was, I'm not trying to stall or delay the project. Everything will happen as it should. If you aren't clear on what the plan is, then talk to the client. Clearly, you don't have an interest in coordinating with me on things, so just deal with the client. (laughs) So this is about a dozen texts between me and him, and not once did he ever give me a date, time, when his scope of work was going to be done. But the funny part is you're texting him to organize, but... He doesn't so get it. how do you have that conversation with these guys when you're literally asking them a direct question? I'm looking you, you for can, a direct you answer. You can repeat that six times, and they'll ask you again. I'm like, really? We just we just answered that question three times, and and he's still asking the same question. And we're not allowed <laughs> to hit it's them, amazing. right? It's we amazing. can't hit them, right? No, it's not like old school. You can say thirteen, sixteen, and four. Oh, can you write that down? <laughs> 13, 16, and 4. Really? <laughs> what is their mentality thinking? Well, first of all, you 13 is two numbers. 1, and 7, and 18? <laughs> he, 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 or if you say, like, you specifically say, like, 7 and 18. Not 8. Right? I've already gone through that before. 7 and 18. 8? No. 7 and 18. <laughs> But then at lunchtime, you see them playing the lottery, right? Guess what? We went to eight. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you know what, though, Camilla? I, you're not the only one. I see it all over the place. So how do you have the conversation? How do you get these guys to actually do oh, it? Oh, I, I actually follow them there. <laughs> really? Yeah, 18 is that way. So you have to babysit the guys. <laughs> yeah. That's what I just said. I, I called it. I said this is I call it. Tra- I, I call job. it trade sitting now. I call it babysitting. Babysit. Yeah. I call. It, I give them a little bit of credit. And call them trades. I think. I think most of the foremans are so busy, and and uh, they can't keep up. So we have to be their foreman too. And wow. But yeah. that's not your. Like it's simple, right? You foam, you insulate, you inspect, and then we do some type of sound it's the treatment. Same thing. Over. Sound treatment. And then you do drywall, and then you do a taper. Simple. Guess what? We're having to do that. To explain. That, yeah. Do guys not learn this in school or somebody does not teach them that you go from... You know, sometimes people are used to doing like regular residential and then you mix it up a little bit with part three and then and then you're, you're into teaching. So there's some of the biggest differences between part three and part nine? You start getting into the fourth floor, fifth floor elevators, fire, 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 fire code, rating, elevators, fire stuff like that. That's yeah. basically yeah. the difference More between like the three and More like the fire rating is the problem. Okay. And how you can pull in your wires or how you... Yeah. No, it's true. Like, <laughs> Don't drill that LVL. <laughs> well, don't don't drill like eight a, holes a it. three-inch hole oh for uh, f- five, like, five or six wires. But the Do you not thing, know the rule? Yeah. One-inch hole, two wires, then fire cock? Oh, that too. Yeah. That's just a simple thing. Okay. Put your donut in. Put your uh, fire cock in Cock, there. Yeah, you spend more money, them. more time, wasting time. Time where you. Can I know, but you're not building efficient. one unit here, so they you figured that the, the guy would have learned from the first unit, and he's building the 19th. No, no, no. I, that's yeah. just giving him too much credit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's crazy too because I have a lot of respect for uh, your guys' company. You guys are uh, a way above and beyond most developers. You guys are using Schluter. You've got yeah. spray foam. You know, I mean, you guys are right up there. You're doing all the right things. How hard is it to find guys to do these things? Like, is it a, is it? Are you going to unions or are you going private? Is there a difference? No, no, they're all, they're all union. union. Most of them are union. Yeah. Sometimes not even the foremans know how to how to teach their guys how to do the job too. So, or is it they don't want to teach them? They're like, ah, no, I, I think they're not. They're not. They're not even sure. Really, yeah, there is a difference sure. between low rise and high, yeah. well, mid rise, whatever. You know, so, how is like okay? You got this older generation that knows how to do this thing, 
Mm. How were they taught when they were younger? The, simp- the simple, regular home construction is a total it's different than, than, than part three. Is. No, no, but still, if they got into high rise and they got into townhomes and things like this, then they would have been taught at that age. Someone would have taught them or showed them how to do it. Mm. Or were they just absorbing it at a different generation versus the generation today is not absorbing it? They'll come and say to you, I've been doing this for 35 years. Yeah. And then you're going, yeah, okay, you did it for 35 years, but you were doing it wrong. Right. <laughs> it's true. They got away with it other, on other uh, job sites. Yeah. Maybe somebody didn't call that's you out on it. And uh, yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. They can be doing this for 25 years. Oh, and yeah. then but if you're doing you it wrong. Up with, with us and we'll point out 10 things and they'll be like frustrated because they're, they're shocked to go back you just like, insulted oh, we've their never skill set. done this before so so what happens when they structurally drill holes through an lvl when they're not supposed to oh we uh two two things you have two uh, choices take your wires out or we cut them <laughs> and we just laminate another beam another lvl to yeah. it and then get we it signed off and that's glue it, it well we have it. to get the yeah engineer to okay it and then yeah. we have to submit it to the city so i mean it'd be pretty basic if i was an electrician and i was running wires all day i mean at some point that company that owns uh, or the company owner should be telling the guys listen you can't go through this wood like do you have to give them a manual mm. with pictures saying you can't go through this type you can do a this manual type? with pictures yeah okay that was carlito insulting the construction <laughs> industry <laughs> <laughs> no, but but it's it, it's serious. Like we it's happening everywhere. We actually have a picture. Yeah, there's there's office. diagrams. There's They'll diagrams tell you how far you them. can drill, Here, or what you it. can't drill. It's right there. But <laughs> if you're the electrician, the foreman, and you ask me, and, and I you ask me, can I drill? I said no. And then you still no. do it. Don't drill whatever you do. And then last minute when you're running your fire alarm devices, and all of a sudden you're ready for drywall. That's when these things happen. So they go in, blow through everything, four or five houses. At that time, sometimes the inspector's gone through it already, and they're trying to get away with it. Wow. Oh, you're talking about ESA? Yeah. No. No. Just talking about trades in general. Right? Here's a dumb thought. Why People don't they try just... the short way because that's going to be more efficient, going to cost them less them money to get out of there instead of having to go around the elevator shaft. But why not? Yeah, but they've already right. priced it. This is my problem. They've already come in. They, it's already been priced mm-hmm. for that much wire to right. be done a certain particular way, right. and they're not doing it. Yeah, and then everybody tr- at the end tries to save by cheating. Cheating. Shortcuts. We try to save our bosses money where we can, but not for cheating. Yeah. Why you know, why don't we corners. just develop an LVO that you can drill a hole through? Hmm. That's a good idea. It wasn't that long ago that we discovered you can drill a certain size through dimensional lumber and then all of a sudden we had eye joists and you couldn't drill through eye joists until we discovered yes, you can drill through eye joists right. a certain size based on the manufacturer. But LVLs, you can still drill some holes through LVLs. Yes, there's well, no size. So why not just design an LVL that's maybe not an inch and three quarter, maybe it's two and three quarters thick, yeah. and then you can drill a three or four or, inch. Or at least if you could add a webbing to it, Something. an engineered webbing do that? so that you could drill yeah. through it and you could we, still pick up the load. We do that even in, in high rise or even here we did that. We did a sleeve box through steel beams. Oh, really? Yeah. So we made a sleeve box, and they were big. It was 18 by 10 through a 24-inch beam. And oh, wow. that's where we ran all of our sprinklers and drains. A 24-inch beam? Yeah, 24-inch beam. We put a, a sleeve box, 10 by 17. How many plies? With stiffeners. How many plies were that 24? Well, the bottom flanges are 13 inches. Holy it, cow. It, Have you yeah. not seen the building here? No, I didn't get yeah. a chance well, to build it. Why, why, why don't you catch Manny up to some of the standards that you guys are at? Because you're way above minimum code. Oh, yeah. Like the lumber that yeah. you guys Even use. Even inspectors is, told us that. Like, we're, we're way out. Why are you guys doing that? Well, you know, the, you, you build something like uh, with LSLs. Yes. And people will say, well... That's not on your drawing, but that's the best you can frame any yeah. structure. With. You're doing all framing with LSLs yeah. or just key areas? You're doing yeah. all framing? Yeah. Yeah, all these townhouses are all done like that. Yeah. Wow. And it's overkill. And you, we got like the best structural engineer. 
the best. Yeah, well, there's going to be no twisting. There's going to be no warping. I love telling a new guy to check out the crown on the LSL. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he's like, I'm looking for it. I don't see it. I think it's this side. It could be this one. I'm not sure. Can I mark it? Sure, mark it. <laughs> yeah, with structural screws, that's the, the best way to build. If you want to do it like your own personal. But it costs more. It takes longer. Oh, my God. And you got to educate the, the, the crew. Because yeah, not all of them are familiar with that. See, with carpentry, we're lucky. We're pretty good because oh. he's got a, an actual foreman on site full time. He guides his carpenters. Young, young crew? No, older boys. Yeah, they're not uh, as young. So they're not young. They're not old. So your they're framing crew, but is, his carpenter, he's the foreman is well, well educated. Yeah. He's experienced and he's really good at what he does. He takes a lot of pride. So, but now you get other crews that are you know maybe not experienced or maybe they are experienced but they don't really uh watch for the detail so i guess one of the problems is foremen just aren't on site that's really like yeah. what, what it's coming down to it sounds yeah. like one of your favorite trades is carpentry and you're happy with them because there's a foreman that never leaves site right he's on the tools guy he's leading by example and his guys respect them and they're paying attention yeah. If you have a foreman that comes on the site, even if it's not a like a full running site, the first thing he should do is go walk at the house that your guys just finished roughing in. Take a look at it first, and then come to ask for a com simple completion or. And then ideally give him right. a piece of two by twelve but, to write on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on this job site, it's LSLs. <laughs> oh, sorry, LSLs to write, on. LBLs to write. On. Too much money. Here's a sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> that carpenter's pencil's not going to make so, a mark. But they're not. They're not doing that. That's okay, that's yeah. the problem. And their car their foremans are used to this now, right? So once you make it the norm, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You guys aren't using any P3 plywood or anything like that, right? You're just using normal ply? Yeah. Oh, no. What are you talking about for LVLs? No, no. For the, for the subfloors. Like, uh, because, oh. because you guys are already into the timber strand generation. I was just wondering if you no. guys were using anything timber strand like that. No, no. no. What's it time for, Carlito? For what? Oh, building code talk with Manny. Uh, uh -oh. I told you, this is totally a fucking regular show, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Ontario Building Code. I guess you guys both should know this, eh? Carlito might know this. I'm not exactly mm -hmm. sure. He's big on stairs. I got a stair question for you guys. What's the furthest degree a stair can be built at? The angle. What can't you pass? Oh, you mean the riser? No, no. So I got. Oh, uh, you're talking about the, the actual angle, angle, the angle the of the stairs, of the, the stairs. pitch. So what's the furthest that we can go according to the Ontario Building Code? One eighth. No degree. 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 So one eighth would be a. Tw one eighth would be like sixty or something like that. Forty-five degrees. Uh, Marta's correct. Wow. 45. That's the max that you cannot build any horizontal stair any greater than forty-five degrees. So oh, I see from from bottom to top. Yeah. Correct. I thought, sorry, I, I thought you meant like runner. So the well, I'll get into it. that. So the risers, they cannot be more than what? Seven and seven eighths. Seven and seven eighths. Yeah. Which you don't want to do. Seven and a quarter. Eight and a Eight quarter. And a quarter. Inside? Two. That's outside. You can get away with. It. This is outside. So yeah. this is outside, two hundred and ten yeah. mil, right? Yeah. And then what's the tread? Can't be bigger than, or sorry, can't be smaller than. Seven mm, quarters. No, it? can't be smaller than eight and I can never three remember. quarters with something yeah, like that. Eight and five eighths, five which eighths? is actually two hundred and twenty mil. Yeah. Uh, what's the crazy. Min <laughs> what's the yeah. minimum it is headroom? Oh. Oh, I always go six four was the minimum. Six five. Well, there's six there's three, right? It's it's basically I've got seventy six point seven. So he's pulling out the tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> I go metric too. So now if I go to well, nineteen fifty millimeters. Some things have already changed on stairs. It's, yeah. it's good to hear. So, uh, it was six foot four. Yeah. yeah, six foot four is yeah. generally the the rule of thumb, right? So seventy six. Seventy six yeah. is well, what you want to aim for. That's increased. It used to be at six two. Yeah, it's increased a tiny bit. Yeah. But yeah, uh, that's very good. You got the forty five degree, and these jokers didn't, huh? Uh, <laughs> I misunderstood the uh, question. Uh, but yeah, yeah. It's supposed <laughs> to be, she got it wrong. It's supposed to be a la forty five. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and that was <laughs> Building Code Talk with Manny. So we are talking to Martin Camilo at a secret location in Toronto somewhere, uptown, midtown, up downtown. Yeah, yeah. Downtown. Well, and downtown. Well, let, let's talk about what you've seen. Like these are like pretty you impressive. know elite townhouses. Definitely. Um, they're really basically high end condos uh, with a little bit of privacy of a home mm-hmm. um, in the in the downtown core. Uh, you guys have elevators, yeah. um, private garages, private garages, private Jeez. elevators, elevators from the basement but, to uh, the top. Yes. Yep. So handicap accessible. Oh yeah. What's the helium element? Like, are you, what are you guys doing? Radiant? Are you doing radiant floor- floor heating? Radiant floor heating. And the drive aisle on everything. the main floor on the yeah basement. And how are you doing AC? On the rooftop. On the roof. Space packs. Two. Is that really two no. ACs? Ooh. Well, we got two furnaces. Yeah. Are you going triple glaze gla- windows or no? Yeah. Triple glaze. No. Yep. Because, because but everything from the main, main floor up, right? Main road. Yeah. It's facing different the roads. requirement because it's on the sound. Main road. Yeah. That's why yeah. the triple yeah. glaze. That makes That's a lot great. of sense. And we're putting the sound, uh, sound insulation in. Not insulation. What is Soundboard it? Soundboard and vinyl, vinyl treatment. Vinyl treatment. On the walls. What's that stuff? Who makes that? That's not Quiet Rock. Is that on the outside no, or inside? Not, what no, we'll, on the inside. we'll show you. Okay. We can show you. It's on the inside. What is it? An eight, a 4 by 8 sheet? Or yeah, it's 4 by 8 sheet. Eight sheet One inch thick? Green? No, nope. nope. half inch. Yeah, it's a half inch. And it's a sound absorbing material. So we put yep. vinyl, that, the sound m- material, and then the 5 8 drywall. You put top. vinyl. It's it's a vinyl like texture. It's about soft a, a or hard. Of, no, it's pretty. It's hard, it's hard. hard and it's and heavy. heavy. Really Do you know heavy. the name of it? No. no, no. Is the radiant poured inside the structural slab or is it poured on top? Different. No, no. We have a core slab and then we do. The then you do the pour on top. Radiant on top. Ooh. Yeah, pack, with the yeah. dry pack on top. May nice. I ask what kind of systems you got going on there for the boiler? Is it V spin or is it? Uh, what are we talking about oh, mechanically? Yeah, it's Vista. It is Vista. Really. Yeah. You like it, eh? No expense being spared on this one, eh? <laughs> Not on this Holy one, no. cow. Well, I'll are we going home automation, Creston? Or are yeah, we... we're doing that. Yeah, there's Holy some homeowners that are doing Creston, Lutron, and then the normal. And Tron. Tron. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a second. What's normal? A regular, Just the regular decor, switches. decor switches. There's no Crestron or anything. Wow. Yeah, skylights. Serious. Yeah, lots of skylights. Yeah. And I'm going to guess that the ceiling heights are eight foot. No. 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 <laughs> 10 feet. 10 and, <laughs> ten and nine. 11. It's just a little under, what, nine under the bulkheads? Yeah. And nine. Manny, your favorite, Schluter. Schluter. Every, every unit. Plumbing fixtures? What are we talking about plumbing fixtures in Kohler. here? Kohler. Kohler? Total or no? Everybody has choices no. or Cal- all cold? Calister, whatever Some it's called. Calista? Different Calista? Things. You're going Calista? Some home Did you know, are... this is a little, little note here, when the Obamas <laughs> moved into the White House, he changed all the bathrooms to Calista. <laughs> He did. Yeah. <laughs> Let him fly, man. This is good stuff. Man. <laughs> I don't know what Trump put in there. I, I, I'm pretty sure he took out all the... That's political. Forget it. <laughs> uh, so no expense. These are top-notch quality, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Wow. You want to buy a house? I can't, aff- <laughs> I can't afford the zeros that are attached to that yeah, first number, man. Um, <laughs> and rigid spray foam. Rock salt, Blown in. No, it's mostly foam. Two two pounds. Close cell, yeah. Yeah. How is the separating the mising wall between the units? Block. Cinder block. Twelve inch, ten inch. No, the regular eight, eight inch. Eight inch. Yeah. And then and, we're and then doing the the channels, like the sound. The resilient rate, channel. The resilient, yeah, but it it's on a. Rubber. Oh, we're doing sound clips. Sound clips. U bars. We're doing. Uh, Plytech sound clips. I'm not sure. If. Are they Plytech? Oh. They're the ones that have the most re- there's, like. There's, there's a rubber mapping. on it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're Plytech. Oh, and we're painting the cinder block block walls too. We're you're block breathe, filling the cinder block. Paint? Yeah. No. Fire really? resistant. No, they're sound sound paint. Sound well, paint. It's, well, whatever it, it's they just call a it, sealer sound, that sealer. seals the block. That's all it is. It, yeah. The it helps acoustical with, this, it sound with the sound transfer. So it says that it. So if you seal the block, you get less transmission of sound. Yeah. Correct. Wow. Seal the block means something that's else. That's the minimum. Hood, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that, that's, uh, some builders don't even do that. But Well, because you got to understand that block is porous, which means it has holes, which means that you can transmit sound through Correct. a block. Yeah. If you seal the block, so not the hood, it. then you can actually <laughs> stop the sound transmission. Yeah, So, but then that's what I was saying. You seal it, and then we're putting the well, sound clips, sound the resilient clip, yeah. channel. 
Insulation, the vinyl, soundboard, well, five inch drywall. Right, yeah. I'm doing, curious about the vinyl. Are you doing mud in recessed lighting? Uh, We're some units all are. The, the are you saying the diffusers plugs? are mud ins. They're mud ins, yeah. eh? Yeah. The pot lights aren't, but they're LEDs. They're LEDs. Some homeowners are doing the strip. Or no, they're area? they're mudding mudding the they're mudding the the recess lights. Yeah, I do like that look. It's just you got to be bang on with everything. Yeah, yeah. drywall uh, speakers, speakers, and oh, yeah, yeah, on the main floor. Wow. What else are we going to be that? Clipch <laughs> wow. sound system. Uh, Manny's excited. Oh, actually, just like, wow. no but, floating stairs. Oh, so you're doing really? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Open risers, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's nice. A lot of women don't like uh, walking on open rising stairs, eh? No, probably. Anxiety, fear, and also exposure. Yeah. We love exposure. Unless you're a Scotsman. <laughs> <laughs> then you love it even more. Uh, so lots of bells and whistles, eh? Mm-hmm. Holy cow, eh? Um, but one thing that you guys keep talking about is the fire resistance that you have here, too. Like, you guys are above and beyond in your fire codes. So this is a little bit more Fire just stop, a, sound a stop, right? Tube yeah, of cocking, part right? Part three, you have to be. Yeah. So what kinds of things, what kind of details are we talking about that you have to fire stop? Double five eight drywall on the ceilings and you have to double fire, layer, yeah. Yeah. You have to fire, double layer double five eight. Five eight, yeah. Ooh, and then you have with to the resilient channel too. Yes. Right. Resilient channel, you know, double five eight and then the fire caulking around everything. No fire spray foam. I guess it's all caulking. By Hilti. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was surprised. that again, Marta? I, I missed it. It doesn't. It's Is not that relevant. Hilti? <laughs> it's not <laughs> relevant. <laughs> it's not best. relevant. Well, the consultants usually come out and they tell you which products to use. Oh yeah. And so yeah, Hilti much. makes a fire stop. Hilti, well, you, you, Hilti, you, you have should to see go the Hilti the... fire stop like products that Hilti provides. Oh, they're. I don't even know any about that. Yeah, we had f- uh, Hilti uh, consultants come out and tell us like there were certain ones like Ooh. I told you about where the electrician drilled a big hole out and with all their electrical wire which you can't do in this kind of application, but they came out and then they had to re-consult the engineers at Hilti on how to uh, fire stop those holes from floor to floor. Yeah, basically, he told us you have to, first you, you cock it, then you finger, finger it. Finger it, yeah. Then, then you lick it. <laughs> and then you, you got to make sure you beat it too, right? <laughs> you got to beat it. Are you sure he wasn't watching now a, tell you a movie at back. home? <laughs> Camilo likes the fingering <laughs> Was he honestly saying that, man? An oh. older gentleman? Is that what it was? I, I, I would be putting a few uh, things. <laughs> I think you missed a few steps. <laughs> it's a dirty guy. Make sure don't forget you finger it, too. <laughs> but wear protection. <laughs> Make sure you uh, satisfy the uh, city inspector. Five, eight. What does he want? Fire caulking in the hole. Okay, so maybe, maybe what you guys started with with your construction bone is that some maybe some of these uh in city inspectors just are not up to par with your guys build like this is a lot of new technology you guys are using i had to deal with an inspector who came from calgary and i had to hear his stories because because calgary actually uh builds a lot of town this kind of application and we i had to hear his stories about how we are not up to par yeah i don't think we are Compared no. to we, theirs, we are yeah. on this site. What are they doing that we're oh, not? I don't, I don't know. I'd he like didn't it. get so into that part. It's com- yeah, it's so complex to like. I didn't want to hear it really. What are we trying to do here in the Ontario Building Code regarding fire code? Uh, like, how much time are we giving ourselves to get out of this building? What is what is the norm nowadays? Twenty minutes still? No, no 40, you want sixty minutes, don't you? Forty-five, 45 minutes. to an hour. Forty-five minutes. Forty-five yeah. minutes. So by the time it starts burning, you got forty-five minutes to get out of there before or it wake up. Oh, we got sprinkler systems. We got sprinkler so systems in here. And we also in every have unit. the yeah. fire, fire horns. That's perfect. Additional strobe lights. So these On are... On top of your carbon monoxide strobe protectors, we have to have the fire horn. For... Uh, That's from the fire marshals. Audio impaired individuals. Yeah, but it's mm. a fire... It's a... Well, all smoke From the build... No, but it's from the fire marshals who request... Uh, or are enforcing this really no, no as far as i know all, sm- good all smokies require a strobe light now no 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 yeah this is not your typical what you think that it's just the strobe oh, what is that it? you put on the ceiling you have that with an additional because it's like it's considered a condo corporation that all the fires have to be linked in between every unit oh wow the horn there's horns on every floor even on exterior like a condo 
like a condo and it goes off and it will go into i think the fire marshal's station which we have to like speak to them about later about all of that yeah there's a panel so you guys are taking a tunnel right now to the fire hall (laughs) 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 don't get get the uh, the uh, alarm and then they'll come to the panel and they'll tell you Exactly which, which house, unit, which what unit, floor. Which wow. Oh, and it has sprinkler systems in it as well. On top of all of that. Now is that fire suppression sprinkler systems or is it water? Water. Water. Is water, huh? Mm. Why aren't we doing the suppression stuff? Is it too expensive? I don't know. Good question. Well, because that's the whole argument because I know that the OBC is trying to implement that into residen- residential yeah. construction. But the problem is that if you have a false fire, you literally have damaged your entire structure now because of yeah. all the water. Yeah, that's what they say nowadays. Instead of the fire that kills your house, it's, it's not the, the water. fire, it's the water. Yeah. yeah. But the way you guys are building it, you're using LSLs, which <laughs>, laughs at water. LVLs, they laugh at water. Yeah. Everything you're using laughs at well, water. Well, it's the rest, the drywall, the finishings, and that'd yeah. be the worst part. You know wow. what? Well, so does that say. mean you guys are getting into Poplar now and not MDF? No, no Poplar for the trip. All, all for of this is popular. Yeah. All Everything. Well, the crazy thing is, wow. is that we have um, open staircase all the way to above, right? So, our doors have to be fire rated to the bedrooms. Is that no, 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 no? Because the sprinkler system. Yeah, yeah, you have a system in every single room. Then, so if one yeah. is triggered, then it just turns on everything, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're talking because about I... why every floor is, is rated, but you have an open stairwell. You're saying. Yeah, but I, I like so I said, from the fire, place that I came, that. They, we had to have that. It was open staircase, and then we had to have all the doors fire rated. All, all the, the doors that were interior doors that were opening up into bedrooms, whatever they all um, had to be fire rated forty five minute with your yeah, yeah. Ha- your hand handles too. It's a single dwelling unit, so you don't have stacked. I don't know. So th- that's what I'm saying. That's the code interesting. No, just all over the I've place. never heard that before. That's my first time hearing that. What? What's so different about the the door handles in fire? Oh, rating? it's not just your your door has to be fire rated, and your your handle has to be 45 minute fire rated. No, yeah. yeah, we never talked about that before. You ever see a movie called Backdraft? Yep. Okay, don't touch that handle. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about our elevator doors? Our elevator doors have to be fire rated. Yes. And the handles have to so be So what does that mean that's fire rated? That 45 if you're, minute. If you're stuck inside there. Yeah. 45 minutes. So does the elevator go to the ground floor right away or does it go to penthouse? What is, how? It comes right down. It comes right down. Why would it go well, up? Well, no. <laughs> yeah, depends. Go. No, it depends. If, it, if there is a fire downstairs, no. It doesn't bring you down to that floor. It won't, huh? It won't bring you, no. It'll bring you to... How would... Really? Yeah. Because I know in high-rise buildings, it comes down to the main floor... Um, and then there's a button you can press. Usually it's like two buttons, like uh, the basement floor and then another button, and then you can skip floors or kind of cut out the computer, right? Just hmm. hit the button that says, get me out of here. <laughs> Usually just Ejection. takes you to the next level <laughs> and where you exit the elevator, um, and then you hit a balcony. What how, they, how big are these elevators? Oh, the size is four by five. Wow. So a four They're person. They're huge. pretty big. Yeah. Four person, huh? Oh, easy. Maybe you can fit six people in there comfortably yeah. still. Yeah. So if you've got a family of seven, draw and straws. Oh, yeah. Let's before do it. they melt. Oh, they can fit. They Depends can fit. on your size. Okay. <laughs> I, I have to ask. The parking, can it fit a van? Mm. Well, you can drive your van in my underground garage. and But not my Sprinter van. And that's seven foot clear, so... You, you, that means you can still enter your private garage. I need nine foot six. Wow. Mm. Nine foot six? That's the high roof of a sprinter van. So a seven can go in there. So pickup trucks seven. and vans. Yeah. Uh, normal vans. With Every no day. racks. Every day. No, <laughs> that, you know <laughs> no what? To, right. to, me, to me, it's really important to hear that developers are building something for hardworking blue-collared guys. You know, you can still own a house like I this. Think you, know, we, we, you know what? It's not just for building uh, for blue collar people, but say you have a problem in your uh, basement garage nowadays. How does a tow truck driver get down there? There's actually, I had this again with another builder of mine, and they couldn't get the car towed out. But there's one guy who has a low rider tow truck company, and he's the one who's getting all the business. 
because he can't. He has to fit into these yeah, underground well, garages because they're not take making. Take the air them. out of your tires a little bit. <laughs> if it doesn't little, start like, up, okay, truck. smart ass. Was his name Manuel or what was going on? He's driving a lowrider. Lowrider truck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does he go in playing tequila? But he, even the fire fire marshals <laughs> complain about it too that they can't get into certain areas because of the spacing of the height. Of so the it makes garages. sense to make it bigger then, sure. make it taller. Yeah, but that's what we did here. What's on the floor? Glue down, engineered. Yes, yeah, interior inside the house. Yeah. What kind of tiles are we using here? Like stuff oh, from po- mostly p- porcelain, stone, Wait, oh, marble tiles. Well, three quarter. Some of them marble slabs. Wow, slabs. three quarter. Yeah. Three quarter. Yeah. That's massive stones. And, and one That's lobby and stones. F- yeah, and one inch. Yeah. And one inch. Wow. Well, it depends who you the homeowner is. But regular is the five eighths, like porcelain tile, twelve by twenty fours, twelve by eighteen. Am I fair to say that the, you guys are using DTV Kohler systems in here? Oh, I don't know. Exactly. The electronic keypad, no, um, hmm. or is it valves, regular thermostatic valves for plumbing? Or you're talking about like showers? F- showers. So I'm like, I'm assuming for the price point that this place is going at uh, a DTV system. No, that's what uh, one unit is doing. You're able to control it from your phone. Correct. Turn the sh- turns the shower on. Correct. So you're nice and warm. Correct. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, or you set it. You're, you set it on a clock. So uh, before before even wake it's a digital up, it's already dial. warmed up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'm assuming that they'd be using. Yeah. That's not standard. If that's what you're asking. Yeah. No, no, no. This but is. But there are up. some homeowners who do. Yeah. Wow. Just like your Crestron. And Tron. <laughs> uh, and Even the uh, terraces are two-inch pavers. Well, not pavers, but they're uh, Algonquin. Algonquin, yeah. Uh, wow. That's a lot of material, 36, eh? Yeah. And it's all radiant on top, too? Not all of them. It's yeah, upgraded, but... Wow. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. I would have never yeah. thought of doing that. Well, it's beautiful. Yeah. So many square feet. What's the smallest size and then what's the biggest size? They're all, like, they're all the same. same. 35. Oh, they're all the same. 3,500 square feet. 35, yeah. yeah. Can we share the ballpark where it's at, the price point, or no? Uh, they started between th- three mil, three and a half, close to, to four, four point five. Ka-ching! And people are worried about building houses. <laughs> so, how do you guys compare yourselves to, or how do, you, like, when you look around at all the other development, are you guys at the top of it, or yeah, between playing nine, par, between or? nine and ten? Wow. Was that a conscious decision made in the business, the company that said, forget it. We don't want to be like the rest. We want to be the best. Yeah. For this project. Yeah. Yeah. We're dealing with a different clientele. Okay. So can we say that you guys are part of a bigger company? Like, Correct. Yeah. So you guys have a, an established brand that's out there, but then now you started this division and it's, you guys are going down this path. Right. We're wanting to do more of these. I'm just they d- want to consider it as custom, though, or fine mm. homes. That's what it is. Fine. <laughs> fine homes. Got it. Okay. Well, well I, I guess I, agree it, I guess it'd be Ferrari, Maserati, and then down the road. Like mm-hmm. as right. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. So a lot of Italians here. No mix, actually. Is it? Yeah, but a lot of Italian trades. No mm-hmm. mixed. Yeah, that's mixed too. Now he wants to hear there's more Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> When I say Italian in construction, it's pretty much I'm saying Portuguese in construction, man. Actually, uh, I'll tell you a story a little bit about me and Camillo here. Um, <laughs> we were doing some construction out, out here on the on the uh, main main boulevard, and uh, we had a lot of gear out there, backhoes and trailers, and and Camillo didn't even know us. Like Camillo, and this is this is the kind of guy he is. He sees a whole bunch of blocking vehicles outside of his job site, and he clears a whole area, and he says, "All you guys." park here keep my road clear (laughs) and so he took away a massive problem of like cars having to get in and out uh inspectors and fire and so on and he eliminated that whole conflict and put us into a parking spot and allowed us to actually finish our job faster and at that point i actually recognized him and i said i think i know that guy (laughs) (laughs) small world small world Uh, yeah you make it easier for the trades no, but I'm just you saying how much you respect other you, other tr- like yeah. in construction. Yeah. You just respected the construction yeah. industry, but I understand that you are going above and beyond just your position. Like, I realized at that point you're also clearing the road. Like yeah. that was my common sense. I'm like, well, you know, what's his 
motive for it. And I could see that that literally cleared the whole road. Like for all the beautiful women. <laughs> <laughs> and there's and a that's lot. where Marta walks in. Are you the only woman on site here? I am. You're yeah. the only woman on site here. She's the only yeah. chicken. <laughs> in the cock house. Okay. Is that what it is? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the rooster house. The rooster <laughs> and the chicken. Uh, she knew what she was getting into when she got the construction. <laughs> 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 uh, I think it's time for little Carlito's Green Book oh. talk. You guys uh-huh. familiar with the Green Book? Yeah, unfortunately. Safety, safety. See? So we play this it's, game. That's another one that's vague, too. Well, uh, we'll hit it right yeah. after this. So uh, I'm going to ask you a question, and you're going you're gonna to try to answer by telling me what you think the infraction would cost on your first offense. Okay? okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, but wait a second. How about the infraction for who? You or the supervisor or the? That's a good question. Let's see. Well, the this, what this, he is, this is directly. Well, this is directly to the okay. person, not to the because supervisor. Because one, one or the ticket owner. gets given out, and then you get three other ones. Yeah, and they're bigger. Of, yeah, of course. Exactly. Okay. So this is a, this is a first <laughs> offense to a construction worker on site. So uh, worker. Uh, directing vehicular traffic for multiple lanes in the same direction. You said this last week. No. Say that again. <laughs> so worker uh, directing a vehicular, vehicular traffic, like lots of traffic on the road, for multiple lanes in the same direction. What would be the fine for that? Multiple so lanes. Yeah, because when you're when you're doing when you're doing traffic, you're only really supposed to do one lane. Yeah. You're not supposed to do two or three. Yeah. I'm going to say 550. 650. $1,000. Wow. Under section 69 2, it's 250 bucks for oh, first that's offense. It? It's really? a first offense, yeah. Huh. I just figured that. That's a weird one. There's You need it here because you're on the main two main all, strips. All so. our guides have traffic yeah. control, and we're not one. We're like three spotters, and we're all got our stop signs out. Yeah, even when material's yeah. coming, you, you're going to yeah, have to unload a, that's it That's a huge thing because. Uh, for a two hundred and fifty dollar ticket, that's more like a helmet. Not wearing that a is helmet. A, that is actually a you're helmet. totally yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. For your normal no, PPI if you're, glasses. If you created boots. an accident or got someone hurt. Yeah, that fine should be. And and the truth is is the minute triple. that you go into two lanes, if you are directing traffic, you're now liable for any of the accidents that have happened as the person. Are you saying because I closed a lot of roads down? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Over a lane. <laughs> no, I, I just thought it was important because you guys are such uh, large developers that, yeah. you know, a lot of, like, when we do normal residential, you don't have people guiding traffic around, right? Yeah. So, well, plus you're in the downtown core. Yeah, that's right. Which nobody's got patience when they're on the road. Because we have such a great infrastructure oh, here. and especially in this neighborhood. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, that's the other thing. Because people here that are walking on the street are very special walkers. <laughs> <laughs> very, a lot of distractions. Mm-hmm. It changes neighborhood to neighborhood. Like, we were talking no. about zoning. Yeah. It changes neighborhood to neighborhood. Like, you can go into Etobicoke, and people will help you as they're walking around your construction site. Down here, they're actually telling you off, telling you to <laughs> get out of their way, stop the construction, calling the police, calling inspectors. It's true. Yeah. They, they're, they're there's stop. 10 phone calls in three minutes because I had to put a, a pylon on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and Those that are was, busy people in the downtown core. That was Carlito's Green Book talk. That was uh, it? That was it. It's one infraction every week. That's it. We have one. <laughs> <laughs> every day. <laughs> So I'm very impressed with what's going on here, what you guys are doing. I haven't even seen it, but I can I can envision it. And the drawings were very heavy when we moved it to get the clear the table and everything going on here. <laughs> Those drawings so are insanely drawings. heavy, man. Look at them They're right the there. End. They're massive. Oh, yeah. well, even Moses cool. himself would go, Jesus is heavy, man. <laughs> <laughs> you say Jesus? <laughs> Jeez. I said Jesus is heavy. There's probably a two by t- 12 inside that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, a tree probably came down for that. Well, you, you guys did mention you guys are still running into problems after the engineers and architects have drawn these up. Yeah, What, what are the normal things missing that you see project to project? Camillo, you can answer this. <laughs> ah, so, you know, a, a lot of times there would be like elevations and... Reconfiguring the uh, design? 
<laughs> Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 I, I I'm things. only I'm only saying this things. because he's always uh, drawing sketches and sending it to the architects and engineers and telling them this is how it should be done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and they send it back and they say, okay, we just revised it. Sometimes you it. have to build it yeah. to see. It, 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 well, how many times have the architects been on site? Most well, several times. Oh, they come a lot? Yeah. And the engineers too? Yeah. Just to see everything. How well, it's engineers coming. get 550 every time well, they show up mm-hmm. on site anyway. Well, right? Manny, I, I do need to tell you what you've met of Camillo is 2%. Mm-hmm. So there's a reason no one wants to come to the site because he tells them right away. <laughs> it starts first. He's thing being in a the real. Morning. He's being a real first gentleman today. <laughs> so uh, I'm I, better life. <laughs> so I knew I, I I came in here one day and I was dropping something off and I had mentioned that Camillo w- told me to come in. And one of the employees almost trembled when I said his name. <laughs> <laughs> so you do you to run these a people, tight man. ship. <laughs> what? What does he do to these people? <laughs> no. He he's not he's not shy of telling them what they should be doing. Yeah. Some people will, you know, kind of uh, pamper people and walk around broken glass. Camillo's not that kind of guy. He'll just tell you straight up and get it over and done with. Are the homeowners allowed to change? The drawings, oh, yeah. they can do whatever. They change yeah. layout, we'll, change we'll everything. Change to optional. So structurally speaking, your two demising layers. walls, your separation walls, that's your structure, and you're done. And you can change anything on that's inside of yeah. it. Yeah. Can you make? Well, like you said, it depends on your clientele. How about that? Oh, yeah. what they're looking for. Well, you're going into, yeah. and you're probably installing more beams, cutting out floors to to do some changes like that. And and we do that. But it's been designed for that, right? It's custom. No, no, we'll, we'll change it on site. At the end of the day, if the customer pays for it, we'll do it. So I think what you're asking, man, is if someone wanted to buy two units and connect them. Yeah, that wasn't sure. what I was asking, but yeah, sure. Okay. No, like say, <laughs> say there was a floor change, and uh, now to make that change, we have to change choice directions. If side to side is going to go front to back, then me and the guys are carrying a steel beam upstairs, up the stairs, and breaking through the block but then there's a whole procedure so you get a client they signed off on the paper drawings the beautiful renders and all of a sudden the selections and then they start seeing it built and they're like "Uh, i want to change can we do this yes and then you start making so what's the procedure at that point you start making changes on sketches and start speaking to the architects start speaking to the engineer the changes are made but you are already in motion regarding the physical labor that's going on and the change of materials we'll start breaking the walls and ordering the steel beam and get it going placing it in while everything's being revised because you've got all your trades stacked for every single unit they come Mm -hmm. into the next one and you want this one that's got all these changes ready for that trade to keep on going you got to keep your guys keep on feeding them otherwise they go someplace else exactly what are you expecting from your contractors these days that you're not getting you know it's the the work hours you don't you don't they don't start at seven They'll come in at nine. A lot of guys are starting at nine what o'clock. What is it that? I've heard sometimes it's, it's because the baby. It's yeah, because the now, baby. Now it's all new things. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it then? Is it because the baby or because I want to sleep in? Yeah. Maybe because they traffic. want to sleep in. They say it's better for them to come later. Some guys come in later. I don't they believe. They stay it. later. I don't Why don't they come in earlier? It's better to come in earlier. Yeah. Later is worse. So being downtown Toronto, when can you start construction here legally? And when Seven a.m. Seven. You should know that. Okay. I'm that's asking. A, that's a general question. <laughs> you don't know that? I want to hear it. Uh, and What, what time, time does, can you start on the weekends? What time does it have to finish? Mm, the weekends is 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock. Yeah. And, and you, you can't work Sundays. And you, you can't, can't work, work Sundays. Sundays. No. Yeah. What if you're Jewish? Oh well. What if you're Croatian? <laughs> That's seven days a week. Well. <laughs> seven days a week. <laughs> In Croatia, they don't stop building. <laughs> you guys are still That's building. Good. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Um, so what was the question? That where were you going with that? Where are you going down that rabbit hole? No, I, I just because. It's so much harder downtown Toronto. Like when it, whenever we talk to our trades or the guys that are developing or, or building houses, like the, this is this is the first time we've had a developer on. So most of the guys that we deal with are, you know, Custom building resi. one house. Yeah. They don't have the headaches that these guys have. We're talking about downtown Toronto. 
no parking, parking authorities everywhere, people yeah. in your way, uh, people complaining constantly, people calling for noise pollution more constantly. More traffic, more kids, people walking in the sidewalk. It's crazy. Yeah. It's hard to build here. Getting material off a truck, let alone, mm -hmm. is almost impossible in this neighborhood. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're on a dead end street, too. Yeah. So no. the trucks well, come in. We, this is only, X is only on, on the front street here. You can't go around. Yeah. You're not going to drive in with the trucks. No, you can't. Around subdivision, though. So how are you doing this? You're bringing in the truck and then they're. We back them up. There's a spotter bringing them out. Yep. Logistically, that's a yeah, headache. Your, your planning has to be good. And how long have you guys been on this one? Three. Three. And how many how many more years are on this mm, one? We'll be done next year. Next year. Next year. Summertime? Yeah. May. Mm. Spring between May, spring and May, summer. June, we'll and and how many units? Nineteen. Nineteen. And and this units. is a historical <laughs> let's, let, let's say that again. This is an historical <laughs> site, right? Right. Yes. What do you mean by that? What, what whose history? What's going on here? We're in a historical building right well, now? Well, there's an old school here. It's been yeah. around for a hundred years century, or more, more, right? More. Yeah. Um, Creation? No. No. Uh, how I know it's historical is that when I was working outside the site, I saw these beautiful gates, and I went up to Camillo before I knew him, and I said, <laughs> hey, you selling your, your gates? And he says, get out of here. <laughs> 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 My boss will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> We're Italian. <laughs> And I'm like, are you sure? Because I could use this for my cottage. <laughs> He's like, get out of last. <laughs> this building here, is this going to be the one that we're in right now? Is it's this historical? It's considered a heritage So building. what will this be? Um, a rec center or something? No, no, no. Or? no This is a, what, somebody's The brother out in. of the uh, church up there is coming down here to live. So this is going to stay on site? Yeah. Correct. Fully gutted. Well, we're interior gonna will be It's going to be re 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 Renner. renovated. Okay. So, the owner of the school problem. No. Why is that the owner of the school? Oh, no. Just a brother of somebody big. Yeah, <laughs> big brother. So he's going to have like a really eccentric unit here. Yeah. Like he's going to have the only house. Yeah. Wow. What's the idea with the house? Are you going to keep a lot of the heritage or is it? Yeah, gonna... all, all, all has to go back. Oh, really? Yeah, those gates that Carlito wanted, it has to be put back. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from the, the gates. The column colors that you saw out there has to be restored. Wow, yeah. there's a lot of work here. Yeah. So I guess some of the soundproofing wasn't really because of the road traffic. It was because of the school that's behind us. No, no. mostly for road and, and privacy that's... between the units. Yeah, okay. You don't want to hear... Anything. Well, anything to do with building uh, houses on main roads by plane, like airplane um, train tracks or whatever, have it, it, a different code. Like there's different requirements on building houses. For it's that, pretty interesting. For when, when I came around here and I was just like, I, I was on the phone, so I missed the turn. So then I had to make another turn and then I was going around the whole neighborhood and it was just like, new home that was renovated new home that was renovated, a lot of that. new home like it was a lot of homes and yeah. these are all tear down homes that mm -hmm. were renovated right so i'm pretty impressed with this is not a, a cheap neighborhood yeah. right not at all and now you guys are adding this which is just adding to the neighborhood which is great which is kind of funny when i bring this up that this neighborhood complains about what you do in this neighborhood but yet they demand it for themselves on their street well when said. they're ready to do it yeah. it's kind of a double edge I, right? I think i think it's uh, in the works for for how many years every every year you see two or three houses on yeah, the same street something being going on they're fed up with the construction and the same circus comes in here to do that so we already know that the, the demoing going on at all the that noise, noise. Yeah. then the concrete and then the framing and then it keeps on going on and on okay. but yet that neighbor does it and two doors down that neighbor does it and that mm -hmm. but then they complain when they're not being done or they complain after it's been done and how about we just all get along rich people well, That's what I'm just trying I, to get I, at. No, no, but I think you... you I think well, you, I don't know about rich people, but people are just too busy and complaining about other people. It's human but, nature. But this part yeah. of the neighborhood is a very wealthy neighborhood. Yeah, yeah Actually, but it's not just not here. Bad. They're, they're really nice people. Hmm. Like, not, not money complaints. Lots of Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lulu they've been... Uh, now, have they been good to you because of the way you've treated them back? Right. The roads clean. We even sweep their sidewalks. Oh wow! They see the. How You're making safe an effort with, when their kids are walking. I guess that's an important part. Big yeah. time, of course. You Big can't time. be pigs about it. Well, that that's no, my we're, next. We're not like that. I'm not going to be. 
So my next question is, is there a facility here to swim, tennis courts, workout rooms? No, Where? There's the, these units? No, it's all separate units. No, man. because I just it's kind of condo we feel with like a luxury house feel. You're kind of getting the best of both worlds because, you know, we do know that Toronto has well, no more space anymore. Anyway. And you guys are maximizing all the space and all the units. But, you know, it's always nice to have a gym or a swimming pool. In no, a, in a, we don't have that. No nothing facilities like, that. Okay. like that, but there's a lot of other facilities around here, tennis courts and other stuff. So. Anything interesting some of the potential new owners have requested? No. I remember one of the first conversations I had with an engineer talking about something eccentric that a client wanted. He wanted to structurally make a six foot tall penis out of marble what? sound <laughs> in his front foyer <laughs> with a fountain around it. Oh, no. And I was like, my first question is whose house and where? Were um, you drinking where when you heard this? I was not drinking. I was told <laughs> this by this engineer. So he was, uh, uh, have, he was tasked to figure out how to structurally make a six foot high marble, marble penis <laughs> safe in a house so anybody here ask for anything like that oh like chandeliers <laughs> or something crazy right i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i think you got everyone stumped with the penis <laughs> so, <laughs> I, think that's where the story I think somebody's stops. been stumped with that penis <laughs> <laughs> um camillo hot how? tubs you got hot tubs on the fourth floor that's Ooh. nice that's always uh, nice you got a double lvl those things sometimes mm. depending on the size of the hot tub mm. and how many people parting yeah. Mm. steel structures for that you're going with steel with that one eh? yeah i remember when i did it it was either the option to go double lvl or go steel yeah and we went with the double lvl instead of steel i wasn't proficient in steel so i said fuck it i want to do lvl yeah oh that's strong that's strong steel oh wow well yeah. and uh another thing too is that you probably weren't soundproofing as much as these guys were so it's less conductive being wood than it would be metal right sound heat the you know with the, the wood transfer yeah less yeah, yeah, with yeah, wood. Yeah, yeah. yeah so in your case that was a good thing for the listeners out there that are laborers or construction workers what can you uh tell them that you're looking for that they need to change about themselves dum, 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 just listen and dum. do it <laughs> you know well, you, you, you mentioned have to understand every stage that you're building for like you're cleaning for footings it's, it's simple. Like if you're gonna call an excavator to excavate, first you got you got the surveyor. So a surveyor has to come in. The grounds can't be mountains of dirt. It's got to be f pretty much leveled, ready to put the stakes in. Then, if you're gonna excavate, you're gonna have to protect all of the fire hydrants, and trees, transformers, yeah. things that are gonna get damaged. There's no rocket scientist, right? You know, before you leave, the roads should be cleaned. These are the simple things. Like, if you're going to clean for, for footings, then you know the inspector is going to show up. Make sure the water is going to be pumped. So those are the things that are Just your anticipate. Job. Just you know, be prepared. You pour, you pour the concrete, and then tomorrow morning, first thing, you're running there to hit the forms, strip them, get ready because... The forms are going to be stuck in there and then the guys are there building walls and now you're just made your job more complicated yeah you know? so you think people are coming to work just for a paycheck they don't care about the job anymore i think the majority are. but if they understand it they understand they can actually be to be be better like very very wanted in play yeah play, right because everybody would want you he knows every stage just you know? be mindful of every other trade out there and what they do well, Manny, you've been going through, uh, you went through a lot of guys until you found, was it Jose? Julio. Julio, sorry. I know all Spanish guys are like. <laughs> <laughs> Julio. No, I did. I actually went through a few guys until I found it, and he's actually really good. But he's always anticipating the next move. What's What, yeah. we, what are we doing next, and how are we going to do it next, and get it all ready. And, yeah. and we're always conscious of let's keep the site clean at the end of the day. Let's keep it clean during the day. Let's try to have a site where we come to work, and it's clean. So then we have a better mindset we're actually yeah. proud and we want to work instead of like having to go through all this garbage once, once stuff. you train your guys and you have a a great team you're bulletproof well, a lot of it is, a lot of it is like common sense to be yeah. very honest man it's very very common. well when it becomes too much like all happening at once yeah you know they'll need some more guidance but these guys are 
top notch. You just gave me a great idea to just pull a joke on a land surveyor, man. Like, just put a bunch of mounds of dirt everywhere. Fuck and them up. Just fuck <laughs> them up. Hey, man, listen. You know what? He will they... have to climb every single one to mark it and then read it and then go back I, down. I don't want this to sound horrible, but <laughs> I've been having nothing but problems with surveyors. Here we go. Is that it's, your bone? It's very simple just to come in. You've got the computer in front of you. It's literally telling you what height you're supposed to be at to put mark your stakes, how far. It's simple, like, yeah. it's GPS, man. Yeah. It's right there. Like, I've had guys survey a spot four times and four different calculations. And I'm like, dude, all you have to do is tell me the, the height. That's all I want, man. <laughs> and it changes. And it changes locations. How like, is it changing? If, I, if I'm supposed to be, say, 600 mils off the ground, I'm now 900. Uh, if, if I'm supposed to be centered, I'm now three feet off. How are they? I bring them back. And then they put the computer back on and it changes again and then i'm off another two feet we start to dig uh we're excavating and all of a sudden now we have to we put big forms in now we have to remove them we have to move it another foot like these guys are coming Isn't back three, the four second times. surveyor or the third looking at the report from the first and the second are they not comparing notes sometimes it doesn't happen all the time that's different that's i've been weird. having a lot of problems in this last month hmm. yeah in, in my line of business, I've been, like, this month, what I've been doing, I've been having nothing but problems with the surveyor. Do you, do you speak to them aggressively, or do you open arms and just be a little more No, I, I, the, the guy that's in charge, I uh, I speak to him, and uh, I just say, listen, let's not break any ground until it's for sure and signed off. <laughs> 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 it still doesn't help. <laughs> Some of the guys you, that you have learned through uh, your experiences, you know, you... you uh, a week and goes. You've been waiting for permits. You're waiting for permits. Finally, you got all your permits, right? In the meantime, you're sitting in your office. You're preparing for your drawings, going through files, and you get that email. We got all those permits. Beautiful. Book the survey, right? Right away. Stake out. Then the surveyor comes out and he goes, uh, "You you got a pump?" And if you look outside, you got the ducks. <laughs> That's how much water is sitting on <laughs> on this. Tip. The ducks are bare, there before the trades. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got a canoe. You want the canoe <laughs> and a sledgehammer? Go in there. You can survey that. Why can't you just paddle? Paddle a little bit. Come on. Done. They don't want to do it, huh? No. They don't bring the hip waders. No. It's amazing. And your boss calls. Goes. What happened? You got rained on for the whole weekend. We got ducked out. We got ducked out, yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted to know, so your crews that you guys have on here, where are you finding these guys? Are the unions finding these guys, right? Now, our contractors will hi hire the guys and they'll have five crews or ten crews. Do you have control of who you want to hire? Recommendations? Yeah, after the years, they know. Don't send that guy to Camilo. <laughs> <laughs> or that oh, guy won't a... end up showing because you're on site. There's yeah. a list. There's a list of that guys. But uh, yeah, what? Their, their bosses will know who to send to that specific site. What makes your job easier with the guys? Huh? Cycling through guys, what makes your job easier? Like, what are you finding that is helping you? You're constantly changing your foreman. And now you're in introducing a, a new guy and you gotta start from next scratch. month another guy yeah. and you gotta start next from month another guy it's like what you yeah. want to see wanna the guys that care and they want to see the guys grow up well, in the plus ranks you want to be able to work with them and vice yeah. versa they want to be able to work with you if you don't it's like water and oil don't mix you just yeah you won't you won't get anywhere yeah. it's got nothing to do with the attitude it's just you've positioned the wrong foreman on that site for this project sometimes it happens and you pull him and I need to make a change, so you hire someone else. It's a team, man. You're yeah. the coach. You, okay. You, 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 each company kind of has to go through. Well, you're you're no stranger to this industry. You've been in this business over 20 years, building houses, yeah, right? And Martha too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you've been a big developer for a long time. Worked with some of the best names. Yep. Do you ever take guys to be part of your team from anywhere else, or is that like a forbidden thing to do? Yeah, you, you don't want to start taking from other places, no. Other no. companies. You start rubbing them the wrong way. Then. Unless they lose their job and then you take them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or unless if they want to leave. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because everyone should be happy across the board, right? Yeah. Well, 
Well, yeah. If you're going to be a team, right? Yeah. What have you What have you seen change in the last twenty years that uh, has made a big difference? Quality. The quality's down, big time. A it's lot. down. The it's quality. down. You don't think so? So materials are better. Quality's down. Mm, okay. Yeah, materials are getting better, but the, the, it depends with the, the the more the quality. People are rushing. Everybody's pushing everybody to finish faster. So you're getting failures. Mm -hmm. And then basically that is on you guys now. But we have to set it up so that it's bulletproof. So when that house gets loaded with drywall, it's got to be ready. Yeah. It can't be like going back because you're having to, you know, the plumbers go in there to change things and the electrician and the guy is trying to put drywall. No, we have to be, we have to make sure it's perfect. And you know what? And the outcome is good. When you're walking in and you see that house that it's drywalled, yeah, you can say, yeah, you know, I'm good. Now I'm good to send the taper. Walls look straight, look clean. You guys doing level five here? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> of course, man. Thirty five hundred, three million. Durban first quote. Yeah. Yeah. What? what? You never told me that. No. Yeah. That's amazing. Those are our corners without no corner beads. Yeah, glued. Glued. Right I love that. Good contractor. Right really good contractor. <clears throat> That's a nice machine. I looked at that machine. I wanted to buy it. It was like 15 grand. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, because we have these uh, <laughs> curtain pockets, like certain areas, it's going to be hard for mutters to get in there or to even. So you guys are making them before. Yeah, so they don't have that much, like, having to do all of that. I'll show you after when we're done. What the? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, amazing that you guys said you're using Durban. So this is my next question to you. Uh, you've come from cookie hat cutters that guys are putting tiles directly onto the plywood or chicken wire. Yeah. And now you're, like, doing stuff like Schluter. But my question is, is that whenever I talk to guys, they always say union guys. And like it's almost like union guys just fly through things, and it's not about quality; it's about quantity. Mm -hmm. At this level, how do you get a union guy with quality? Is this like are these guys like already like twenty-year veterans in the industry? Yeah, these guys are not their first year. So that's what you're kind of asking for when you when you yeah. speak to your reps. Yeah, Qual they're qualified. Yeah. Plus, it's in their contract, and, and they're and tendering we, for the job too. Yeah. No, I know, but this is a completely different level. Like every no, I know, every developer I go to, what, okay. I always have something to complain about, and it's my personal preference uh, like, like that me? I see. But like here, it's like top notch. Like mm -hmm. my customers don't even get half the stuff you guys have here. Yeah. So I mean, Manny's building custom homes at, at that's at this level. Non-union. Non-union. Um, <laughs> but my my blue collar customers don't Listen, get all the bells and There's good guys in union. Right? There's good guys in non-union. Exactly. There's good guys. It's just and there's also bad guys. No, but it's pretty impressive to see the materials that you guys are using, and I'm just wondering. That's really impressive for for a developer to be using that kind of stuff. That's not the norm. Mm -mm. You guys are the only ones, or you guys are probably a small percentage. I don't know. I I know. Uh, we're we're wanting to build more of this that way this to go clientele. down that road. Yeah. Curb the showers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think is the cost difference to build this way compared to just building the typical way? Are we talking about this is a twenty percent increase in, in production costs? Thirty no, percent? Huge. It's bigger than that. Huge. Well, because you get into build, well, the building part three as well, right? So That's it, huge. With, with with you doing fire stop and all of that, your your numbers change. From, from the trades, too. Of course. Yeah. So you have to take that into consideration, too. Yeah, well, anything that says Hilti on it doesn't start off at less than 50 bucks. No, but yeah. I'm just saying that <laughs> Apparently, this show is brought to you by Hilti. Hilti. <laughs> oh, they'll be happy. A lot of fingering. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of fingering, he said. My guys are so happy oh. they're even cocking <laughs> things they shouldn't be cocking. <laughs> Oh, I'll figure it. Just give me the cock. To be going like, <laughs> Why are you cocking there? <laughs> I, I love finger. doing this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Camilla, what's your favorite tool? Uh, the hammer. Any particular hammer? <laughs> you mean an SDS hammer? No, the SDS. 
You mean like stiletto or stiletto like East Wing? Or, use, but oh, yeah, a hammer. Okay, an actual the, hammer. I thought, okay, I thought about power tool. No. So your your background is framing then. You must well, have been a carpenter. I, I did a lot of framing. You're not a Martese guy? Martese. Uh, Martese. <laughs> <laughs> no? East Wing? No, not an East Wing, right? No. No. Uh, what, do you, what do you like for power tools? Uh, DeWalt, Makita, DeWalt, yeah, DeWalt, Hilti. Mostly DeWalt. And I'm, now I'm getting to that Milwaukee. Wow. That's interesting, yeah. huh? But I've always loved the DeWalt. Somebody's been drinking Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> and Marta, obviously, you're a Makita girl. And still. Still haven't changed. <laughs> really, eh? I like still and Makita. Why? Because it's blue? It's teal. It's actually <laughs> teal. Bosch is blue. No. Bosch no, is blue. Um, blue is my favorite color. Bosch. My Makita is black and white. Makita, Spe- yeah, that's, yours. That's, yeah, that's the uh, that's a special the edition. edition. Yeah, the one that comes <laughs> in pink as well. But too. I do like Makita, though. Yeah. And still, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've got one last segment now. Oh, the twelve questions. Do you know, guys, you know about this? You know about this? No, you don't know about this. Twelve questions. We'll ask both you guys. So there'll be twenty-four questions or twenty-four answers. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, right off the start, we are. What is your favorite construction word, Camilo? Construction word. Word. Your favorite construction word. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Oh my God, Ricardo, what do you? This is your. This is about you. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> Marta. Just do it. <laughs> that's for sure. You see all the time. That, Just do that's, it. That's Nike, isn't it? <laughs> it might be, but it's, I like that line. And what it is your least favorite construction word? Oh, I know what it is. Oh, that's a bad word. Don't say that. You could say it. <laughs> you you could say, say it. it. Don't say that. This has no children listening to this, uh, it, this it podcast. It says something bad about mama. Mama. I hate that word. <laughs> bad thing. You say that, you're done. Out. Mo- <laughs> mofo. You talking about mofo? Yes. yes. I say, get, go to church, is what I say. <laughs> Marta? <laughs> What's my least favorite word? Favorite, least favorite construction, construction word. word. Don't worry. Oh yeah, don't worry. I hate what? that. Don't uh, worry. Yeah, somebody <laughs> tells me don't, don't worry. worry. Don't, don't worry. worry. Don't, worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry about it. Is that uh, usually an Italian saying that to you? Don't no, worry. it doesn't no. matter. I tell everybody who tells me when you tell me don't worry, that's when I worry. Yes. And he, he laughed at me today. And he Tomorrow. Hung up. Yeah. <laughs> what turns you on in construction? Lulululus. Insulators. <laughs> well, it turns Bands everybody on on this site. Uh, Who's wearing Lululemons on this job site? It's the insulators. <laughs> Seriously, we have Mexican insulators. They're all wearing us. really. Well, I don't know if they're wearing spandex, but they're hot chickies. <laughs> Everybody's happy when they're in there when they're on site. So yeah, what do they the do? They, what trade they're we done? Insulate the insulators. Yeah. yeah, and they all wear Lulus. No, they don't wear no, Lulus, but, but they. They Spandex. look like they're wearing Lulu's. Type stuff. <laughs> <laughs> to keep all the... Okay. Marta? I don't have a comment on this. <laughs> yeah, nothing turns you on in construction? Uh, Open t-shirts. <laughs> oh, fucking... Yeah, you and your nipples, man. Hanging out. That's my nickname, nipples. <laughs> <laughs> they're always popping. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm fucking button that shirt up. <laughs> it's getting cold, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nothing? No? Nothing? What turns you off in construction? <laughs> sloppy, sloppy. Yeah, you 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 go there, you did your job, and and you just leave everything like all behind. Yeah, a mess, and, and it's a your dog's lunch breakfast. all over the damn place. Coffee cups, I hate that. Well, yeah, they, yeah, they expect you to I, clean up after them. Yeah. Yeah. That's just disgusting to me. Disrespectful for our laborers, our guys, to having to clean up after after them. somebody else. Yeah, electricians are notorious and then for this. Especially eh? if you leave. No, no, well, not our electricians. All the little little no, cutoffs. I have to say, our electricians are good. They'll even put their butt out and take it and put it in the garbage. Mm. That's how why. well Camillo trains them. Is that after they drill the hole through the LVL? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then they come along and finger it. Don't worry, <laughs> I just put the cigarette in there. <laughs> uh, Marta. When things don't turn out like on time, when you schedule things and it just doesn't happen, it drives me nuts. Drives you nuts. Hmm. What's your favorite curse word hmm. or phrase? <laughs> <laughs> I have too many. I know. <laughs> oh, just pick one. Uh, now you got me. Um, 
thinking. You go. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. There's a lot like liver lips, fruit cake. Liver lips. <laughs> I would just scream at there. Hey, fruity, get over here. <laughs> what the fuck is liver ball. lips, man? Liver lips. What's that? <laughs> I've never heard that in my life, man. Liver lips. Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite vehicle? Car, bike, boat, gym. Gym? GM. GM. Which GM? Pickup. <laughs> Sierra? Sierra. That's a first on the show. No. <laughs> really? Yeah. It is. Really? Favorite Are, vehicle of all time. We're talking about pickups. Huh? No. Oh, oh, I love pickups. Any vehicle. Oh. I always have pickups. Well, that's his favorite. You like pickups that Ready? much? Yeah. Barracuda. There you go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Marta? I have too many. So what's the first Just one? one? I have two. Which are? A McLaren and a 1964 T-Bird. That's quite a range. Mm. I like both. Uh, what's your least favorite vehicle? What's that car you used to drive? Mine? <laughs> 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 Fucking... What is it? What it? No, my car is fine. I come in the ha- Harley now. Can't even hear me coming. <laughs> you have no least favorite vehicle here? I don't like the new... Um, what the heck is it? The, is it the new Ford vans? The Transits? Yeah, those... those no, the little one's okay. The, the bigger one. It's the full-size van. Transits, aren't it's they? It's got that... Or is that Toyota? You're talking about the Nissan one? Yeah, I think it's the Nissan. Yeah. That's the one. That's ugly looking. That's freaking yeah, It looks like a terrible milk box. I know. <laughs> I know. Marta? Least favorite vehicle? Honda made these really weird box vehicles. Element. Element. That's what it was. Yeah. I couldn't handle those. <laughs> what construction sound or noise do you guys love? The drill. The drill? Mm-hmm. Wow. Any drill? Any drill. I just like listening to it. Really? I'll tell you my favorite. Like an auger drill, just drilling away? No, like the guy's drilling and just... Impact. Just impact, impact drill. drill. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Or a drill. Camilo? Yeah, I think I... Well, I, I have a favorite construction machine. That's well, not the question that's right now, question. That's not a question. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not adding questions. We already have too many questions as it is. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite construction sound or noise? Definitely not the jackhammer. Yeah, just the sound of the forklifts and the generators. Hmm. You'd, well, you'd love the farm. Get you, <laughs> it gets everybody going. Just those sounds. <laughs> doot, doot. <laughs> what construction sound or noise do you guys hate? Chipping gun. Chipping gun. Some guys wow. love that sound. Eh? I hate it. Because they say it's the sound of money. No. Yeah, I don't like the drag hammer. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's the sound of losing money. <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? I think you're already doing this. Aren't you doing some salsa dancing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> salsa dancing? I have to bring the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully by next year. Cove's done. <laughs> so on their, gra- on their car garage parking. <laughs> I'm coming bells. for the party. <laughs> <laughs> Marta? A jet fighter. A jet fighter? Hmm. A plane jet fighter. Wow. Yeah, I didn't expect those. that. What profession would you not like to do? Cleaning shit. <laughs> I, can't <laughs> the the I can't handle those That's machines. not the first time a lot the of people wagon? said that. Yeah, cleaning the portalettes. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, when they come, mm, poof. That's tough. Doors that's and terrible. windows closing yeah. my trailer. I've seen some burritos Fast. in there myself a couple oh, times. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> the show just got visual. Um, if heaven exists, guys, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? <laughs> <laughs> How many chickens you want? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I thought you were, you were gonna ask. What was that? What would you want to become? A rooster. Yeah. It's, a, it's a reincarnation. Yeah, what yeah, you yeah, be? yeah. That's yeah. exactly it. That's yeah. I think that'd be a cool thing. You know, you die and you have an opportunity. What are you to come gonna back. be? I don't know. A, a bird. chicken. A bird. <laughs> a bird. No, no a chicken eagle. and a bird. Me is going to be a wolf or a rooster. No, a wolf or a rooster. Falcon. <laughs> Falcon uh, fly, uh, flies at 200 kilometers an hour and it goes up real high. 
Well, Manny said that he wanted to be a, a girl's bicycle seat no, for I never a fat chick. That. I never <laughs> said that. I never said that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and all you fat chicks can write your letters to Carlito, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys, for enlightening us uh, to the w- wonderful world of development at a level that it should be at. Right? It should have always been at. Yeah, mm. which is really interesting, man. So I'm glad that you guys are taking the lead and going this way, and that's amazing. So thank you so much for letting us in. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thank you for thank staying you. late, I guess, because this is way past your work hours. Oh, yeah. Everyone's the probably wondering. Be wondering not why why are the lights on? Why are <laughs> the lights on? Maybe he's the one on? who's calling. Probably, yeah. Camel- okay. Camillo's actually a pretty loyal guy. He never Bolo leaves. Bayani. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Carlito. I think you gotta get us out of here. Uh, That's it. So we would normally give you guys shout outs and handles and everything, tell everybody to follow you guys, but we can't do that because we're in a secret location, I guess. Somewhere location. in Midtown, Uptown, Downtown, in Toronto, TO. Where are we? 416 TO, baby. Get us out. <laughs> <laughs>